Hello, movie lovers. Yes, you're with Bob. It's Friday afternoon. It's around basically almost 2 o'clock. It's about 10 to 2 in the afternoon. I was just out for a while. went for a walk and the bright sun is melting the snow. Yes. So there you go. Well, let's talk about the movies I watched this week. Let's see what I watched. talk about the movies got me all book out okay so the first movie I watched was on TCM it doesn't matter about first or whatever but yeah I watched the movie on TCM it was called Dr. Kill their strange case 1940 it's the fourth entry into the series of you know young Dr. Kildare young Kildare comes to the aid of a professional and personal rival who is accused of incompetence after a botched operation. Stars Lou Ayers and Lionel Barrymore. Everybody knows Lionel, Lionel Barrymore from It's a Wonderful Life, right? Yeah, he's the guy in the wheelchair. But Lionel Barrymore has been in lots of movies, lots of movies. That's uh, not bad. It's a, there's a series of movies. I don't know whether there's eight or nine or something, but there's a few of them, right? This is number four in the series. So it gets a six. Most of them get a six. It's a good movie. They're not that long, maybe 65, 70 minutes. They're, 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 they're okay though, but yeah. Dr. Kildare, Strange Case. And then I watch McRaney's Black Bottom. I watched it on TCM, and it stars Viola Davis. She's a blues singer. She's a big lady I hope we don't, you know I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but she's a big lady she's black and uh, she sings the blues right so they're singing this song you know black bottom right but uh, it also starts Chadwick Boseman right and he's a trumpet player and he writes his own songs and he's trying to get them recorded and stuff so um, yeah, it takes place in the 19, I would think the 1920s. They're all dressed up. They, they wear nice, they, they, they have nice shoes and nice um, suits and stuff, right? And they're in this building and they're recording stuff. So, uh, it's, just, it's just a story about recording, uh, you know, records and stuff. So, and people getting ripped off and, you know. So, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fine on Netflix. Uh, what did I give... Uh, McRaney's Black Bottom, I gave it a six. It's a worthwhile story, nothing great or fantastic, but it's a worthwhile story. Yeah. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. It's all about the blues. And what else did I watch? Oh, I watched Hang Em High. Yes. Hang Em High. 1968. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. So some guys come across him, he's got uh, cows, and they say, where'd you get the cows? And he says, he bought them, right? And he's got a bill of sale. So anyway, that didn't work out too well for him. So they hung him. They put him on a horse and slapped the horse, and he's hanging there. So just a little while later, this other guy comes along, the sheriff, cuts him down, throws him in the back of a cart full of other guys, takes them into town in the, in the jail anyway. But I can't tell you too much more about the story. I ruined it for you. But it's a very interesting story. I liked it. I don't even think I ever saw this before. It's hard to believe I never saw this, but for some particular reason, I must have missed it in all the movies I got, and I thought for sure I, I did see it. I might have might have forgot all about it, but Hang Him High, 1968, and what did I give it? I gave it eight, eight out of 10. Very, very good movie. I well, I liked it, right? So, yeah, I can't tell you too much about it because, like I said, spoil. I don't want to spoil things for you. So, hang on. What else did I watch? Oh yeah, I watched uh, uh, on uh, Netflix again on Netflix. This is a documentary. This has to do about Affleck Affleck A, right? And it's a documentary, and it's about uh, the United States. Uh, um, um, the girls, you know, the girls that for the, what do you call it? Um, they, you know, they do the jumps, you know, and they jump in these handstands and pole vaults and 
all that kind of stuff for the United States program, right? And there's a guy in there. There's well, a few of them, but there's a guy in there called Nazar or something like that, and he's been there for oh, a long time. But you know, as years go by, right? I mean, the girls they get molested by this guy. Basically, that's what that's what this doctor means about uh, getting molested. I'm writing a pedophile, this guy, and stuff. And it took so many years. There's uh, there were even complaints about him, but no nothing became of it, right? So. Very interesting, very interesting documentary. Um, I gave it an eight. I really enjoyed it. It was very interesting, right? There's more to it after this, too, and this guy. There was other people, too, eh? So they were looking into him. One guy they were looking into just a little while ago, they got him and they arrested him, and he took his own life. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, I, oh, I watched uh, Make Way for Tomorrow. Now, this movie is from 1937, right? And it stars Victor Moore. Two old people have to move out of their house. And they basically have to move in with their four or five kids that they have. They think they could move in, right? But basically, none of these kids really want their mom and dad to live with them. Right? I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. So when the dad goes to live with one of the daughters, and the mom goes and lives with one of the sons. But if you're going to watch this movie, you're going to have to have a box of Kleenex sitting beside you. Because this is a goddamn tearjerker. Well, this is my bookmark. So, $50. Like, anyway, let's read what it says about this movie and this book. You see this book? I have this book. Leonard Maltin's classic movie guy. More than 9,000 movies. Of course, I don't have 9,000 movies. I don't have, you know. But... Uh, no, I don't have 9,000 movies. I'll never have 9,000 movies. I doubt it very much. Well, let's read, let's read what it says in the book. Make Way for Tomorrow, 1937. 92 minutes. It's got three and a half stars. So that works out to be basically a seven, okay? Now, I saw it my, personally myself. I gave it an eight because I really like it. So here's what it says. Uh, director, directed by Leo McCary. He, he directed a few other movies, of course. Stars Victor Moore, Viola Bondé, Faye Banter, Thomas Mitchell. He was in Fighting Sullivan, so as the dad. Uh, Peter Hall, Barbara Reed, Louis, Louis Beavers. Sensitive film of elderly couple in, in financial difficulty. Right? The guy hasn't worked for a few years, and he's old. Was, nobody wants to hire him. That's true, too, most of the time. When you get old, nobody wants you. Uh, so, uh, shunning aside by their children. Unwanted and unloved. Shattering true. Beautifully done. I don't know about the unloved stuff, but, you know, that's an opinion. But, uh, yeah, so they both have to go live you know, with one of the daughters. And one, the father, well, oh, I can't tell you that. No, I can't tell you that one, so not to spoil it for you, so. No, so basically it's about um, two old people and their five kids. Yeah, so I gave it an eight. Make way for tomorrow, 1937. All right, what else did I watch? I watched Red Riding Hood. Yeah, that's Make Way for Tomorrow. Right? And Red Riding Hood from uh, 2011. Amanda Seyfried? Fred? Fried? Wolf attacks people in a village. This is wolf. Big friggin' wolf, right? Attacking people, right? And they basically get around in the village at nighttime and lock their doors and stuff like this. So this wolf kills people. And then this guy, the Lord guy, or a guy with the cross on comes in the village, he's gonna kill this wolf. Right, so he's out there running around trying to kill people. And then he takes people and he, he interviews them. Yeah, he interviews them. He wants to see if they're the wolf or not. And he searches people's houses. And it's so. Uh, anyway, I give it a seven. It's, it's all right to watch. And then I watched The Passion of, the, Passion of Joan of Arc, which is a silent movie from 1928. Now, this only. The trial. She's sitting in court, and all the judges are talking to her. 
it's a trial, right? So we all know what happens at the end of this movie, or most of these do. Yeah, so that's a, I gave it a seven. It's a very good movie, silent movie, and the music's okay, you know, violin music and stuff like that, so it's okay for that. So The Passion of Joan of Arc, very good. Gave it a seven. And then I watched this, Tenet, right? I watched Tenet. 2018, John David Washington and Robert Pattinson, our next Batman. Right, so this movie has to do about uh, now and the, the future kind of thing. Like, and you go back in time and, or go back to the future. And to tell you the truth, it's a two and a half hour movie, right? And I got a little bit confused watching this movie. Now, I don't know if I'm the only one that got confused with this movie or not. I, I don't really know, right? So, but uh, I liked it just because of some of the action. But to tell you the truth, I fully did not understand it. it, it you know, that's part of it. So, I don't know. So, what did I give it? I gave it a seven. So, you know, I maybe uh, if I watch it again, but I don't know, two and a half hours. Uh, for two and a half hours, I kind of got it a little bit. But uh, most of it was like, uh, are they here now or are they are they in the future or are they running backwards or forwards or yeah it's a little confusing so I gave it a 7 just because I liked the movie but probably would have been a little higher if I fully understood it a little bit more right so I hope I'm not alone in this alright people that's uh, not that many movies but uh, I watched this week and I'm getting around to watch some more I watched the hockey games too, I got through the, with the Leafs, so cuts in on movie time, of course, and a few TV shows and stuff like that, yeah. So movies, not all the time with movies, but nah, most of the week, yeah, I watch a movie here or there. All right, stay safe, and keep on watching those movies. Talk to you all later.